Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this very foggy day in Balmora. <laughs> yeah, didn't uh, didn't exactly turn out to be a beautiful day to go traveling, but Adis Fireye told us that the uh, what was it, the egg mine that we're looking for? Yeah. Uh, southwest of Balmora, in the bluffs west of the Odai River. Uh, okay, so there's a suspension bridge uh, just southeast of the mine entrance. Okay, follow the river south of Balmora until I see the bridge. Okay, I can do that, I think. Which way is south? This way. <laughs> and uh, I do want to apologize if my voice sounds a little bit strange. Um, I'm getting over a cold. So uh, I, I do apologize if uh, my voice sounds a little bit different. Um, I will try to avoid uh, coughing <laughs> and hacking up a lung into the microphone. So um, you'll have to bear with me on that one, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, so we're following the river south um, and past the Silt Strider. And who is this? Hool, do you have anything to say? Hello friend, I'm Hool, welcome to Balmora. If you have a question, I'll be happy to answer it or try anyway. If it's just a little advice you like, that's fine too. Um, let's see, can I ask you about a specific place? Uh, okay, so let's see, Fighters Guild, Fort Moon Moth. No, I was hoping that actually you could tell me about the mine that I'm trying to find, but I guess not. So, we will just... I, I can't seem to end the conversation. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, no, yeah, he doesn't have anything really to tell us. Right, and I'm not sure how far south I need to go. Uh, my map, whoops, uh, there we go. Yeah, my map does not tell me a whole lot, unfortunately. Uh, so, I guess, they said once we find a bridge, we'll know that we're there, so with the fog that's a little bit hard to find though we might not notice the bridge until we're literally right underneath it um, wow that is a very big mushroom no enemies at least no enemies so at least we're not at least not yet thankfully in danger of getting murdered oh is a uh, is that the mine there's no way that we could be at the mine already. And there's no bridge. Oh wait, there is a bridge. There is a bridge over there. The fog is finally cleared. Uh, yeah, maybe this is the mine. A scrib. Well, you're not attacking me, so I'm not going to be too bothered by you. Okay, yeah, let's head inside. Uh, let's see. Theris Ancestral Tomb. Nope, 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 nope. Not going into another ancestral tomb. <laughs> I learned my lesson the first time. Uh, yeah, not until I have a silver weapon, unfortunately. Ah, uh, this must be the mine. Looks like we have some people standing outside. I'm hoping that they are not hostile. Uh, wasn't it that bandits took over? Um... Miners and local troublemakers are poaching eggs. Okay, so not bandits, just troublemakers. Uh, let's see, they haven't attacked me yet. Sorry, stranger, my time is short, so get on with it. Uh, okay, Findulane. I'm a miner from the Shulk Egg Mine, but I'm getting some fresh air. Okay, yeah, what can you tell me about the egg poachers? Uh, we haven't seen Savilo Othan or Danila Valas. But eggs keep disappearing, and they know the place. Easy for them to get in and out, stay out of sight. Okay. How about you, Dinoch? I'm a miner from the egg mine, taking a break. Okay, I'm assuming you're going to tell me... Oh, no. Uh, Savilo Othane and Danila Valas used to work here. Not good people. Could be hiding anywhere in the mine. Okay. So it sounds like there is just two... Uh, miners, and it sounds like they kind of went a little uh, crazy. <laughs> Started poaching eggs uh, instead of protecting them. <clears throat> whoop, whoop, don't attack me. I... Yep, you're going to attack. Okay. 
Uh, hopefully I've leveled up enough. Yeah, okay. Uh, Kwama Cuddle, okay, and we'll dispose of the corpse. Uh, there are Kwama eggs. I'm not going to take them. Uh, it's a little hypocritical to come in here and start killing uh, egg poachers and then poach eggs myself. <laughs> okay, so we've got a door here and a dark path down there. Okay, let me... And nothing there. That's a dead end. Cavern door to the Shulk Egg Mine. Okay, I guess we'll take a look. What do we have? Uh, I see somebody working down there. Let's see. Oh, oh, without falling down. Okay, put my weapon away so that I'm not looking threatening to them. Miner Julian, what can you tell me? You're in an egg mine, Outlander, so be careful. Kwama foragers and warriors won't attack miners since they're used to our smell, but they attack intruders and you smell like an intruder. Okay, what can you tell me about Kwama foragers? Uh, the Kwama forager scouts the surface of the land and natural underground passages, searching for suitable locations for new colonies and hunting for prey. Foragers are aggressive, but not very dangerous. Okay, so as long as I keep my distance, I should be okay. Okay, uh, so is there anything new you could tell me about the egg poachers? Uh, Savilo, Othan, and Danila Valas used to work here. Not good people. Could be hiding anywhere in the mine. Okay, I've heard that one before. Alright, my Miner Gore, what can you tell me? Uh, pretty much the exact same information, correct? Yep, same information. Okay. Barrels here, I'm assuming it would be considered stealing and they would not appreciate it if I stole stuff from them. Miner Katie, uh, looks like same information. Um, avoid them or go ahead and kill them if you have to. Don't worry, the hive can replace them fast enough. Okay, that's a little... <laughs> Okay, we don't know anything about that, we're just doing our jobs in reference to the egg poachers, so they do not seem to know much of anything, her less so than everyone else I've talked to. Okay, excuse me, Julian, thank you. Uh, now, who is this, actually? Uh, Miner Lisa. So, while you're in our egg mine, please don't harm the workers, they won't bother you. Uh, but the warriors will attack. Okay. So the foragers and warriors will attack me. Okay, sounds fair enough. So I'll have to keep my eyes open. So you're a scrib, so you're fine. You're not going to attack me. You are a forager, and right, so I dealt with one of you at the entrance. Come on. Come on. There we go. And some more scuttle. Thank you. Another scrib. Just pass on by. No need to attack them without provocation. Uh, man, these, these two poachers are really deep here in the mine. Okay. Okay, okay, I'm getting pretty good at... I'm not missing, at least. <laughs> I'm not taking a hundred stabs at something and not hitting, so I'll consider that a success. Okay, uh, Queen's Lair. That's... Um, I'm assuming those are the two poachers? Yep, yep. <laughs> okay, they just came right for me. Uh, let me see if I can... This is bad, actually. I need a health potion. Um, eesh, uh, I might, I'm definitely going to want to equip my shield. I won't be able to see anything, but it's better than dying. Uh, endurance... Yeah, what do I have? Okay, I will... Well, I don't want to restore endurance, I just want something that recovers. Uh, restore willpower, restore intelligence, restore... Oh, here, okay, so it is restore. Um, yeah, I'll give it a shot. And... Is there anything else I can do? Uh, let me throw money at them. <laughs> no, I actually don't think there is anything I can do. I, uh... I don't know when the last time I saved was. Okay! Uh, let's give this a shot. I might actually have to run back through the other door. <laughs> um, right, here we go. Yep, we're going through, we're going through. Woo, whoa, whoa, whoa. Are they gonna, they're not gonna come through, are they? Because if I could just 
wait until healed. Oh, that's better. I don't know why my screen is still red, though. I don't have any effects on me, do I? Uh, no, doesn't look like it. Huh, maybe if I just rest for another hour. Still red, whoa, 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 what? Oh, what are you doing here? Okay. All right, come on, come on, I was doing, I was doing pretty good at hitting things. Come on. Oh, just a few more hits, that's all I need. There we go, nice. That was an assassin. Really? Uh, a Dark Brotherhood, why Dark Brotherhood? I haven't, I haven't done anything that would cause anyone to come after me. Um, okay, I'll take all your stuff though. And I'll heal again. Right, okay, let me... I mean, let me equip your stuff and see. So Dark Brotherhood Boots would give me an armor rating of 6. Which is, yeah, way better than what I've got. There we go. The Cuirass is armor rating of 6. Which, uh, not as good as what I'm wearing, okay. The Greaves, armor rating of 6. Armor rating of 2. Okay, so I'll equip those as well. Helm is 6, and the one I have is 14. Okay. And what about the dagger? So my saber does 5 to 18 damage. His silver dagger only did 4 to 5. But it is silver, so that does mean I could use it to attack uh, undead. So that'll be very helpful. And uh, let me save. There we go. And let me give this another shot. <laughs> I'm a little bit better equipped now, I guess. Okay, come on. Come on. Alright, I'm definitely doing more damage. If I could just kill one of them... Just one of them, I can then leave and then go out and save. Oh, because if I... Oh, I'm gonna have to leave. Ugh, okay. Let me heal again. I'm surprised that they're attacking me with pickaxes, it looks like. Pickaxes and a potato sack looking t-shirt, and I am having a hell of a time trying to kill them. Okay, and we're gonna heal again. Oh man, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> uh, okay, I gotta leave again. And heal. Hey, I'm level 2 now. You realize that all your life you've been coasting along as if you were in a dream. Suddenly facing the trials of the last few days, you have come alive. Okay, uh, let's improve anything that makes me hit better and more. <laughs> um, so strength uh, affects your starting health, how much you carry, maximum fatigue, and how much damage you do in melee. Uh, agility affects your ability ability to dodge and hit targets in melee. Okay, we're increasing that one. And can I increase it twice? No. Uh, strength and starting health, health per level, and maximum fatigue or speed determines how fast you can move. Let's do endurance. Okay, and let me save. And let's, maybe now that we're level 2 we can do this. Let's give it a shot. Ah, okay. Yep. I really just don't think I can do this quest until I've leveled up some more. I, I'm just too bad at combat. <laughs> oh man, that is a really defeating feeling. Uh, this whole, this whole little adventure out to this cave, uh, kind of a bust. Yeah, doesn't really get more of a defeating feeling than this, I suppose. Um, I mean, I guess I, I just hit level 2. Um, I might not be able to come back here until I'm level 4? Maybe?
had a hard time even beating this little forager. Ugh, this whole cave. Ugh, it's, it's just one giant insult to my ability. <laughs> oh, that, that's all this episode is. One giant fail. That's what I'm going to title the video. Let's play Morrowind episode... What, four? One giant fail. A cave full of fail. <laughs> oh, boy. And it's nighttime. We spent probably... Six days in that cave, just with all the waiting I did, uh, just to find out that it's just too tough. Uh, and I can't even fast travel back to Balmora. I just have to take this sad walk of shame back into town. Oh boy. Okay, back in town. Um... Let me see if I can find a place to actually repair my equipment. I wonder if a normal merchant is able to do that. What do we have, a pawnbroker? Eh, that doesn't sound like it's going to be a good place for it. Let's see, what's this? Outfitter. Okay, this looks like it might be a place for it. Uh, yeah, hello friend, I'm Clagius Clanler. Welcome to Balmora. If you have a question, I'll be happy to answer it or try anyway. Okay, so no question really, just barter, and uh, let's see, doesn't look like there is any way for you to repair my equipment. I might have to find an actual uh, blacksmith specifically for that, but while I'm here, let me actually sell you my old equipment that I won't be needing anymore. Uh, there we go, and you'll give me 522 gold for that, that's not bad. What does that put me at in terms of money? 1049. Not bad. Do you have anything actually that I could buy? No, you know what? My armor I don't think is the biggest thing I need to worry about right now. I could do with a better weapon. At least I think so. For all I know, my armor could have been the problem. <laughs> let's see. This is an armor. Uh, let's see. Yes, here we go. Repair. Uh, okay. Can you repair weapons? An iron saber for 18 gold. That is not bad. Actually, it's not too expensive to repair most of this stuff. Uh, maybe repair my shield. Yeah. Uh, a lot of my other equipment is not that poorly damaged. So I'll probably be okay not repairing most of this. Yeah, okay. Everything else is good. Uh, is there anything I could buy from you? An axe? Not interested. Nordic Trollbone Helm? No, I don't think so. Uh, an Armunan Bone Mold Left Pauldron. That name is a mouthful. But that is good armor. Uh, what are my current pauldrons? Oh, they're 11? Yeah, that's not too huge of a difference, though it would be nice to be able to level up my medium armor that way. Uh, that's a medium... Yeah. Bone mold boots, 18, compared to my 11. No. It would be nice to level up my medium armor, but right now I really would like to focus on weapons. So let me see, is there any weapon vendor around? Bookseller? No, farthest thing from it. Maybe somebody in the Fighters Guild. Ah, here we go. So, uh, Wayne is able to barter, repair, and train us, actually. What can he train us in? Armorer, heavy armor, and blunt weapons. Okay, interesting. For now, let's see what he has to sell. A short blade one-handed, short blade... Long blade one-handed. Uh, it's an iron long sword. Uh, doesn't do as much damage as my saber, though. I mean, chop is five to eighteen, which is pretty good. Um, five to eighteen. Anything else better than that? Really doesn't look like it. Maybe I could get a better shield, though. Do you have a medium shield? Um, no. 
Hmm. That is unfortunate. Uh, you do have repair hammers, though. That's pretty nice. Uh, I'll actually take... Let's see, how many would 10 cost me? 100 gold for 10 hammers? That's pretty good. I will make that offer. So now I should be able to repair my own items out in the field. Not bad. Uh, okay, so this quest... Uh, oh, actually, uh, I have a new journal entry. An attempt was made on my life as I tried to rest. I do not know who wishes me dead, but the attack should probably re be reported to a guard. Okay, yeah, let me talk to a guard then, if I could find one. They're usually out patrolling right here. <laughs> you say you've been attacked by assassins. From your description, it sounds like the work of the Dark Brotherhood. I'm not sure who you angered, but stay away from me. I suppose this should be officially reported, though. Speak to Apellus Matthias in Ebenhart about this matter. Your journal has been updated. Okay, uh, tell me about the Dark Brotherhood. Uh, scum, all of them. If they're after you, friend, you'd better find yourself some help, or write a will, or both. Okay, you are really no help as a guard. <laughs> okay, so who is Apellus? He's recently arrived in, from Cyrodiil. You'll likely find him inspecting the grounds at Ebenhart. Uh, okay, I'd love to know how to get to Ebenhart. Uh, let's see. Anything about Ebenhart? Not really. Okay, what about persuasion? Uh, <laughs> what if I admired you? Nope, that was the exact opposite. And taunting and intimidating are probably the last things I want to do to a guard. Okay, let me take a look at my map, and uh, let's see, Ebenhart, where would that be? Uh, I actually have no idea. <laughs> Oh, I wonder if I could take the Silt Strider there. Uh, though I may be getting ahead of myself. I may be going to Ebonheart and then probably facing enemies that are way more difficult than some egg mine poachers. <laughs> so I should probably be careful about that. Uh, let's see. Where was that Silt Strider platform? Ah, up here. Okay. Also, let me get a torch out because it's pretty dark. Okay, Silt Strider man, do you go to Ebenhart? Uh, let's see. Destination. I can get you to Balmora, Aldrun, Suran, Vivek, or Sedanin. Uh, I, I think Vivek is the capital of this province, right? Uh, so I could probably bounce around and get my way to Ebonheart that way. Um, we make a special trip just for you. Say hello for I. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, but, but whoa, whoa, oh, oh, God. Oh. That's super dangerous. Why do they have just a flat drop right off the... That's my own fault. <laughs> I'm blaming them. It's my own fault because I don't pay attention to where I'm going. Okay. That's not what I wanted. Here we go. Uh, and I want my quests. Uh, Antibolus Informant. Um, let's see. I'm to ask him what he knows. Right. The Spy Master has sent me to talk to Hasfet Antibolus at the Balmora Fighters Guild. I'm to ask him what he knows about the Nerevine Secret Cult and the Sixth House Secret Cult. Right. Um, and return the report to Spy Master. Uh, right, first I'll have to do some favor for Antibolus. Let me see if I have actually done enough favors in order to get the information about this Nerevin cult. Uh, let's see if I can work my way over to Council Club. Okay, uh, if I could work my way back into the Fighters Guild, get the information about the Nerevin, report back to Caius, uh, that then I could at least say that this has been, in some ways, successful. <laughs> Alright, um, that's Aedas Fire Eyes. No, I'm looking for Antibolus. 
uh, whoever that is or wherever this person is. Uh, they did say they were in Balmora, correct? Let me see. Uh, yeah, Hasfat Antibolus at the Balmora's Fighters Guild. Okay. So where is this person? A couple of beds here. That's actually good. I would probably need to rest in an actual bed. Oh, here we go. So Kai is sent to you. If you want something from me, I require a favor first or forget it. Okay. There are Dwemer ruins nearby called Ar... I'm not even going to attempt that. I need you to run over there and find me a little cube with a circular design and some symbols on one side. That's oddly specific. It's called a Dwemer puzzle box. Bring me back the Dwemer puzzle box and I'll tell you what you want to know. Okay, so before I go looking for this cube with symbols on the side, tell me a little bit about it. Uh, the cube I'm looking for is about the size of a fist, maybe a little bigger. Good, in a giant cave, I'm sure I'll have no problems finding a little cube the size of a fist. <laughs> it will be made of a coppery metal with circular design and symbols on one side and some lined marks on the other. That's all I want, that little cube. Okay. Um, strange request, but well, at least have the courtesy to look at me for more than a second before you turn your back on me. Incredibly rude. 